Hey, it's Kurt Meister Klotz here in the garage with the GT40 and start the build. I actually need to flip the car over and I want to put some uh, truck, truck bed liner on the underside, protect it from uh, rocks and stuff and plus maybe make it a little quieter. Kind of, uh, it's going to be loud anyway. But I'm going to take out the spider and the carpet and stuff on the interior is just sitting in there. So um, I'll uh, be taking that out, no big deal. So uh, that's about all I'm trying to do today. Just get it ready so uh, I get a few more guys over here. I can flip it around and then I can do that uh, bed liner on the, on the bottom. The original car had these uh, these rivets, and the original car had the, the NACA ducts in the front end that blew air under the seat, through the seat, to keep the drivers cool. There was uh, no air conditioning in 1966-67 race cars. for the full roll bar. Uh, the forum, everybody on the forum says, if you're not racing, don't get the full for, uh, roll bar because you keep hitting your head on the, on the structure of the roll cage. So anyway, I just cut the bar. This is the frame for the rear uh, window. So you can see out the back, engine is about uh, six to ten inches from your from your head. Okay, I needed a beer. I'm back. One thing that's great about this car, it's all English or SAE fasteners. No metric. Everything is quarter inch uh, aluminum and uh, they've threaded already everything. Plenty of threads to uh, secure a fastener. Um, uh, I am really impressed with uh, race car replicas work and um, the design. So far it's been
I don't know if you can see in the video, but uh, there's another panel that comes off right here. So that if you needed to work on the engine, on the, on the forward side of the engine, you just take this panel off, you'd have access instead of having to take the spider off and the roll bar off and everything else. You couldn't get access here. While I'm here, I can take the coolant tubes out. Stainless uh, tubes running from the, the radiator will be up here, running through the spine of the car, back end to the engine. Only thing better than uh, working on the car and drinking a beer is having your friends over drinking a beer working on the car. The idea of one of these kits is when it arrives, you first do the inventory, and then you take it all apart and um, put it together the way you like it. Success. I just have to uh, clean up my hardware and um, 
I need to get four strong guys here. Not really four. Three guys uh, picked it up off the jacks and put it on this dolly. Got to make my uh, car dolly a little bit shorter. So I got the guys here. Racer Randy, Buddy Joe, and DJ. There you go. And what we're doing here is uh, not knowing how long to make this dolly. Punching holes. Yep, we're popping holes right in there. Popping holes. So there's the action shot. Slow and steady makes the hole. Moving the cord over a little bit. Right. He's making progress now. That's a 5 8 hole. So this is the fourth bit to get the hole that size. And all the mechanics have lubricant right there. So, um, and, and we just got oh, some more on our bit. <laughs> oh, lost some. Floor, right? That's all right. Is it? DJ's doing the work. You got metal coming out. The hard thing it. is when it goes through the other side, it, it catches the bit and wants to spin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah. yeah. Pull it out and reverse. pull it out and hit it in high speed. Yeah, I was trying. There you go. Okay. Mine's a little different. There you go. Yeah. It, put it back and forward and hit it at high speed. But be careful. It want to take your wrist with you. You like that? Yeah, I want to grab your wrist. There you go. Oh, yeah. DJ's the man. Clean. It's good to have friends when you when you got a project. We're not cheap, though. Beer? No, we're not. Beers today, it's maybe beers pizzas. Every drill bit, right? Or no, I mean, every hole. So, <laughs> right now. It's just the aluminum monocot. That's all we got. So, get Chuck out of the way. so Turkey. we're gonna four of us are gonna flip it upside down. I'm guessing it's around four hundred pounds. We're gonna flip it upside down, and then I can uh, spread that truck bed undercoating underneath it. Very nice uh, work by race car replicas. So when and, you put the truck bed liner on it, that, will that mean it will haul more weight? It's not going to haul any weight. It's a lightweight machine. <laughs> so you actually get a little bit more room on the driver's side for uh, your seat. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. No fat passengers. No fat passengers. That's for the wife, really. Is that the pin and, uh, there? I'm going to hang up these uh, body pieces. Yes, sir. We're going to move this down and put that together yep. and then, and then cut it. off. Yep. Yeah, it's loose. Or it should be. No, it's not. All right. So these guys are. Um, I made the stand adjustable. So uh, and I made several holes, but uh, I really was way off on the length of the stand and the width. I did uh, narrow the width. Anyway, uh, talking to the guys and my brother, they said that uh, I need to have a catchy 
catchy uh, saying on the, on the end of the video. So keep the shiny side up, keep your nuts tight, and thanks for watching.